Hello, my fellow spuds, and welcome back to another episode of The Long Dark. So we're setting off just as we left it last time with our character in the central homestead in Pleasant Valley. So uh, right off the bat, I did notice this at the end of last episode. <laughs> so I'm going to take that quickly. Maple syrup. It's only 23% condition, but that is a lot of calories. So I'm going to quickly dump some stuff here. I might actually put them in the bathroom because there is a first aid cabinet. It's nice to keep stuff uh, looking nice rather than just dump everything on the floor like I usually do. Let's put some medical supplies that we don't need in here. Ooh, another wall toque. I can use this. Amazing. Apologies if you can hear a plane going overhead. <laughs> anyway, this episode, like I said at the end of last episode, I am planning to go up to the transmission tower and loot around the back of Pleasant Valley, just trying to get any of the stuff around the back and kind of, oh, flare nice, and yeah, get anything hidden away. And I'm hoping that we can harvest some saplings, find cup some of coffee, amazing, to hopefully very soon make the bow and arrow. Or painkillers, nice. We've also got the rabbit back at the original little village that I need to go and harvest. I'm hoping it's still technically viable. I'm honestly not sure at uh, this point. It's been a couple of days now. Uh, but we can always go see. So, ketchup chips. Noise. Pick up these books and just put them by the fire for now. It's always good burning material. And we got the well-fed perk. Very, very, very nice. Sorry, there was a pause. Um, I just made myself a cup of tea called Relax. So, yeah, I hope I hope it is actually quite relaxing. Um, anyway. Got some accelerant in here. We've got some more cedar wood. Very, very nice. Anything else that is worth it in here? Oh, there is a 96% magnifying glass. This is like the best find we could have got. Basically, this allows us to start fires during the daytime if we're outside. And it's there's no fuel involved, so we don't need matches. Only outside or where it's sunny. So that is potentially a game changer. I uh, got candy part. No, that's a game changer. Finally, in. we've got a can opener. At long last. Right. <laughs> we can now open cans without having to smash them and waste loads of calories. Excellent. Did we we, we didn't already have one, did we? I just realized because we opened the dog food cans. No, we can't have done, so we just wasted a load of calories from dog food cans. I forgot. I'm an idiot. Unless, of course, dog food cans you don't need to do that with. I don't know anymore. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let us go upstairs. There is a chance the rifle can spawn here, I believe. We found that now. That would be ludicrous. I know you're not, Astrid, but calm down. Uh, you don't have to, really. We just need to go downstairs and then we can go to sleep. Uh, yeah, because you're, you're fully encumbered now. Another sewing kit. Incredible. Right. I'm not quite sure where the rifle is meant to spawn here. I'm pretty sure it's meant to be under the chair out there, but I might be wrong. It's been a while since I found it. Uh, trail boots. Well, this stuff will come in handy. I think arguably these are better than the work boots that we've got. Take them. Um, yeah, I think probably going to be it for this room, unless there's something under the bed. Doesn't look like it. No. Okay. Right, on to the next room. There's quite a few rooms here, which is quite nice. So there's lots to potentially loot in this place. A uh, warm hoodie, actually. Oh, is it there? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think that's as good as that. So that can potentially just be uh, cloth. Another I'm sewing kit. Amazing. And what's that? Mackinshaw jacket. But one of the best jackets we can get. And we didn't even have anything in there. Amazing. Some more sports socks. Uh, anything behind here? No. Doesn't like anything under the bed either. I think that's probably it for this room. Moving on. Right. Come on, please say there's more clothes. Just just a just a morsel, a, a crumb of good clothes would be good. Cotton toque, yeah, I'll take, I'll take that. <laughs> uh some water. 
We did actually need some water, so I'm pretty pleased we found some. Is that it for him here? It's where we can normally find some quite good stuff in this room, but it doesn't look like that's the case today. And last room is just the bathroom. Bandage. I was actually meant to take that. Stop it, stop it. Thank you. Rifle cartridge. Boom. Um, and nothing... Sometimes in the bathtub, you can find thermal underwear. It's actually the best place, apparently, to find thermal underwear. It's always worth checking the bathtub. Um, but there's nothing in here today. Nearly two litres of water in the toilet, which I will take. Anything behind the toilet? No, sometimes there is. Okay. On that note, I think that's pretty much everything that we can find up here. I haven't seen anything else. It, I always think there should be stuff up in the rafters, but I've never seen anything up there. Drop off the stuff we don't need, and then we've got the basement to go explore, because there's actually a basement in here. Which is one of the reasons why this base is super good as a main base. Everything we don't need, which is mostly books, to be fair. And this wood. We're probably going to need to drop all of this, actually, because we're likely going to have a bunch of stuff down there. That'll do. Cool. And the fact that we got the well-fed perk means that we can carry that extra five kilos. The problem is we're so tired that we can't really carry much at the moment. Uh, but when we are actually fully recovered... This will come in handy. It will come in handy. Ooh, and another pry bar. Nice. Uh, we can carry the extra... extra nuss. So, a jerry can. It's only got a litre in it. But we can refuel our lamp from that, so that's amazing. Potato sack. Give me all your potatoes, please. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Uh, what do we have here? The problem is it's starting to get a little bit dark. I left my storm lantern upstairs, so you know what? I'm going to go get it. Good thing is you don't need matches for this. It's just a case of flicking it on. It only uses lantern fuel. Because it's quite easy to miss stuff in here if you don't have a light. I would have missed that. Anything on the shelves? Sometimes there's something in the crates and you have to like kind of peek through the little gaps. Doesn't look like much today though. Okay. I think I can use this. What do we have here? Replacement fuse. That's used for fixing the transmitters that we're gonna go to in a minute, so that's quite good we found that. We're also gonna need normally I think normally up there there's enough stuff that we can fix the transmitter straight away. But, more often than not, there isn't enough scrap metal. So I think if we can find uh, five scrap metal to take up there, we can probably fix this transmitter straight away. Quick peek around here. I will go through that in a minute, but it's going to be full of potatoes and carrots. So it's not exactly urgent. Well, this stuff Warm jeans. <gasps> Work pants. They're really good. Uh, really, really good, actually. Let's put them on. And then put them on. Amazing. And in here, we've got some socks. Hey, not too bad. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Yeah, in a minute, Astrid. Calm down. Uh, anything, anything, anything. We've got another whetstone. <gasps> oh, you're kidding me. I found this. Did I find this on the stream? I found this on the stream, didn't I? It's not that common to find this, and we found it twice. The distress pignal. Distress pistol. Sorry, I said that wrong. <laughs> what did I say? Distress pignal. I don't know. Um, we already found two extra shells for this, so that's five shells altogether for that. Find some more wires, and that's useful for the transmitter, which is amazing. Oh, we've been so lucky already. We've got scrap metal down there I've just spied. So I think if we find, like, an extra... Th Two, three, and coffee, and coffee is amazing. Keep that on us. Yeah, we need like an extra, like, two, three uh, scrap metal, and then we should be able to fix the transmitter, no problem. Uh, we could always just uh, use the hacksaw and get some scrap metal ourselves, but I would rather not if I, if I can help it. Got the first aid kit up here, and then we've got the stairs, and that leads to outside. Emergency stim. Nearly overlooked that. That's a really good find. Uh, that's like we can get emergency stamina right off the bat. So if we need a boost, we need we're outrunning a bear or something, and we've run out of stamina. 
that can save our life. The downside is we get exhausted after it's run out of, oh, it's use has run out, but it's good for emergencies. Or if we have anything, to get up a really, really, really long ladder. So it's a ladder? Uh, rope. Anywho, uh, we got toilet there with two. I don't think we need to grab that right now. Save that. Let's turn that off. There's a refill mod that I've got where you just refill with R and it automatically does it from your inventory. Wish I had that because that's such a good mod. Anyway, let's pick all this up and then just see realistically how much stuff we've actually got. I would like to put some flour on the shelf, please. Be amazing for cooking later on. I like to put some things on display. I know food's better outside, but I still like to put some things on display. Make the house look nice. We'll take the charcoal. You know, if we can keep the hatchet and the pry bar here, at the very least, we will have... Oh, that's freaking out a little bit. Why is that freaking out so much? There. <laughs> uh, we'll have some spare tools in this region, so it's always nice to know that they are there. Um, what else could we put down? I'm going to cook a bunch of potatoes. I think it'd probably be worth leaving some sewing kits. Right, I think that's pretty good as is. So... Go out here, we will map where we are, because we should be able to do that from the comfort of our porchway. Lovely, map the local area. In the warmth, amazing. So, we have metal container and our little farmhouse here, because there should be a small amount of stuff that we can grab from there, and also there's a car in the driveway that we should be able to find some nice stuff in there as well, hopefully. So, it looks like it's not the nicest day out there, so I think we're going to wait till the morning to set off. Uh, we will drop the extras that I know we're definitely not going to need. Uh, probably should have put this, actually, I'll, I'll leave it for now, but I would like to sort it out to make it look nice eventually. The distress pistol I should have expressed. It is amazing for a lot of reasons. The main reason is that it's, when you fire it, the shells can actually scare away, I think, any animal. I think including moose and bears. I think. Not 100% about moose. I'm pretty sure bears can. If you also headshot, um... A bear, you can kill it. Not sure about a moose, I think you can. Although I haven't seen it done. Um, but bears you definitely can kill with a distress pistol, so that is amazing. And the fact that we've got five rounds for it is pretty damn good, because if we get into an emergency, we can fire that and it'll scare everything away. We need to find something to that drink. is good. Uh, we're going to drop that for now, because we're not going to need to carry two. There we go. Um, and, 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 and. We've got a lot of food. So I think what we're going to do is we definitely need to get some more water as well. Let's grab a couple of books and start a fire. Yes, do that. I'm just going to have a sip of my tea. Well, that is quite nice. It's fennel and something. Perfect. Lovely. Cool. And add some fuel. Now I'm 40. That's not going to be enough for the water, which because we can do two liters with that. Uh, but uh, we're going to want to cook up all these potatoes. And the fact that we've got six slots means we should be able to cook all of these fairly quickly. So I think hopefully if we have the two hours uh, with the fuel, that should be enough to do the water and the potatoes. Oh no, we only had five potatoes. Really? Oh, we got way more. <laughs> That's bizarre. Okay. Um, yeah, so we need to get two hours on that. So, how are we going to do this? And another book. And another book. Uh, we may need to break this down. Just because I don't think, if we do have more than another six, we're probably going to need an extra round. We'll get this ready. Okay, risk of parasites is gone, so we can always have some wolf meat on the way back. Lovely stuff. Uh, or when we go back there, anyway. Uh, 21 minutes till ready. Let's leave that for a minute. I'm not sure if we're actually going to need it or not. One minute till done. Nice. And that one's done. Good. Uh, it'll be easier, actually, if we just drop the potatoes. And then we can pick them up 
and chuck them on, rather than have to go through the menu every time. How many potatoes are left? One, two, three. Slightly annoying. Uh, yeah, we're going to need a little bit more time then. Uh, while we're waiting, read a book. Uh, what should we read? Wilderness Kitchen? Would be good to get our cooking out. We can't focus when we're this thirsty. Oh, and we're that tired as well. Okay. Uh, let's just have a drink then. Okay, right. Take that. We've got 39 minutes. That should be enough to make a little bit more water. Especially because we're probably going to have to add some more fuel for the potatoes. One, two, and three. They're going to take an hour. Yeah, we're going to need an extra half an hour, and that should be pretty bang on. Nice. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Pick that up. And just getting to night time, so we should have enough time to go up to the bedroom, have a quick snacky snack on some potatoes, and we can pass out. We get 250 calories per potato. Pretty damn nice. But we'll eat a handful of these. I don't think I checked the drawers downstairs either, so I could always grab them later as well. And what is our cooking looking like now after all of that? We are so close to level 2. That's good. That's really good. Because when we get to level 2, we get slightly more calories every time we cook stuff. I think it's 10% more. So it's definitely worth getting that skill up. Especially early game. Awesome. Right, we need a drink. And then we'll uh, have a few more potatoes, and then we'll do round two of sleeping, I guess. Hey, brilliant. Right, it's light enough that we should be able to read something. Let's read that cooking book, and that should be perfect. The sun should be fully up at that point. Nice. Right then. Warming up benefit, excellent. So, I think we should put some stuff away. Uh, for example, some of the clothes that we're not going to need right now. Um, I mean, I could just rip these up. Yeah, I'm going to leave them for now. Decent trail boots. I can't remember what the difference is between the trail boots and... I'll upgrade them, first of all. Uh, okay, so it's a lot less temperature, but we do not have the mobility issues that we have with the boots. They're also a lot more waterproof. And they weigh less. I think let's go for the trail boots then. I think arguably better. Not not easily better, but it might be a little bit. That fully fixed up is better than that in every way. Let's repair that. And then we have... I think some of the best headwear we can get. Very nice. And I think that's pretty much everything else done. These work pants are amazing. They, I need to fix them up, actually. Uh, they're really good. They do have some mobility, but they're really warm. A little bit waterproof. Lots of protection. So that is very good. And I think that's why I can justify going for the trail boots rather than the work boots, because we've already got some issues with our mobility as is. No, our vest is very warm. I'm not going to fix it because I think we can find something better. Uh, the chance of us finding better gloves anytime soon is slim, so I'm going to fix them up. It sounds like there's a storm outside. What else do we have that I don't need to take with me? I don't need to take these oats. Drop all these books. Uh, realistically, am I going to need the pry bar? Possibly. I can't remember if there's lockers up there or not. Uh, we don't need all this food, and especially if we're going to be coming back here. We don't need them either. I think that's pretty damn good. We'll put some food outside when we leave, but I think that's pretty good. Puts the salt away. Uh, let's have a look at what it feels like. Feels like five degrees. I think it's okay to put stuff here. I think it should keep okay here. Realistically, I don't think we're going to need the revolver today because we're just not going to need it. I don't think we're going to need it up there. We've got the distress signal, if we, the distress pistol, if we need it. Although I doubt we're going to need it. Uh, and I think that'll do. Got a little bit of wiggle room with our carry capacity. Most of the weight stems from the water. Three hours? Do I want to waste three hours doing that? One hour and a half. There we go. That's better. There we go. And we can then have a drink. The potatoes haven't gone down in condition that much. I think 1%. That's actually not bad. Uh, what's the time? I reckon that we could sleep for two hours before we head off. 
trying to listen to the wind. Doesn't sound too bad. It's always like... If it's bad, we don't go out. Um, two. Or we'll check here while we're here. Uh, doesn't need to do anything out here. Two's not bad. I say we try and head to it now. There's, there's the transmission tower. And I think the easiest way is if we go around to the right. Uh, we do have the pry bar with us, and I know of a potential spa place, space, space and place where we can find a rifle. There's a car right at the end of the road that <clears throat> has a chance of spawning the rifle in the boot. Uh, I think there's also a memento cache loot box thing hint in the car itself. So oh, I found it there a few times anyway. So we're going to go have a look there. Uh, then we're going to turn left to go up this hill to the transmission tower. We're going to have to watch out for bears. I don't know how many bears can spawn on the map. I believe it's about four. Pleasant Valley, I think, is one of the places where you get a lot of bears. But like, we can have one technically go in front of the house. We've already seen one back at the old little village. We can have one... Well, I think his cave is just over here. And he can go up and around the mountain. We can have one further back. Lots of bears. Lots and lots and lots of bears. And there's a lot more to the north as well. So, we are going to be... Have to be on the lookout a little bit. I'm just going to check our clothes here. We're fine. Um... I think we'll be all right. We should be fine. It is a little bit nippy. It's not the coldest. But it's definitely not the warmest. Uh, Pleasant Valley is an all right place. It's not the warmest map in the world. I would say if you wanted to start playing this game and you weren't sure, uh, Mystery Lake is the best. Just flat out right. I believe Mystery Lake is probably the best place you can go. Uh, for the simple reason, there are tons and tons and tons of houses and buildings that you can just pop into, warm up. It's also, I think, argue, I think it is the warmest or one of the warmest maps there is. It's also adjacent to pretty much every map that you need. So it's adjacent to Fallen Muskeg, which you need the forge for. And that's how you can craft metal tools and things uh, once you've got the heavy hammer. And also arrowheads if you want to do long-term survival. It is adjacent to Pleasant Valley, where we are now. Uh, there's just a cave just back there that you can go and transfer into it's also adjacent to the ravine where you can then go to bleak inlet and also coastal highway so bleak inlet is where you can make your own ammo coastal highway is just another really really good map which is like the other map that i would suggest for beginners just because again similarly a lot of buildings uh, but also lots and lots and lots of potential loot so, it looks like the weather has warmed up a little bit. It's only negative one now on the temperature gauge. I think we're doing all right. The car is just around the corner here, and that's the hill we're going to have to go up. We just go up there, and then when we get past, I think it's just past that rock, we take a left, go up to the top, and we'll be gravy. Some wolves can spawn on this river just there. So, I'm kind of glad they're not there today. I don't think they can normally detect you unless you're stinky from the river itself. But it's always better to be safe than sorry. This also does lead somewhere. I don't know where it leads to. I think it's a, it's a map I haven't really been before. Uh, but you could always go explore there if you want to. We didn't need the pry bar. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Doesn't look like there's going to be a gun today. Spray can. Uh, we'll open the hood. That's a good indication that we've already looted it. Looks like another sewing kit and a rifle. Oh, sorry, revolver cartridge. And what I was looking for was the memento. There we go. Scrawled message. A memento with a survival hint. So it is near the top. There's three houses near the top of this map. So that's where the farmhouse is. There's like three houses. It tends to be there is a frozen corpse and a wolf carcass. That means there's probably going to be a hunting knife or a weapon nearby if they've both spawned. Um... It's just the north, and I think they... Well, the last few times I've had a look, there is all... Well, the last few times... No, I keep saying there's always, but for me, there has always been a hunting bow and a couple of arrows in there. Like, 100% condition. So, it is worth going up there. The only problem, I think, is that 
whenever I've been up there, I don't know if it's just my luck or whether it is part of the map, is it is freezing up there. I've nearly got hypothermia, or I've nearly got frostbite a few times up there, and I have got frostbite up there once on one of my characters when I was testing this. So, yeah, it's, um, it's not particularly pleasant because there's no actual proper buildings up there. Everything is ruins. So, not the easiest place in the world if you wanted to settle down. I wouldn't settle down there. There's a cave that you could settle down in but it's not the warmest. Um, so, yeah. But definitely worth a look because there's essentially loads of corpses. Near the three houses, there is two deer corpses, that wolf corpse and that body. Uh, on the way, there's a shed where there can also be another deer um, corpse. And if you don't touch those corpses, they don't despawn. They won't just disappear. Uh, if you hunt an animal normally, it will despawn after three days. That's why I'm a bit concerned about the rabbit, but I think because we picked it up, it won't disappear now. I think rabbits are slightly different in that sense. But if you hunt a deer, it will disappear within three days, I believe. I might be wrong on that, because I've seen varying stories from people. Some people saying they found corpses after six days, but most people seem to say it's after three days, so that's what I'm going for, and that's what I think it is. But you can leave them indefinitely, and you can harvest crow feathers from them for uh, making arrows. So you could technically go up there, and there'll be four corpses up there, including the human one, uh, where you could just run around and gather all the feathers you want, and then come back later on, gather them all up again. So it's probably worth doing that. But if you also want to, and you want to get some hide, maybe you're desperate to try and craft the deer leggings is it deer leggings or deer boots i can't remember i've played with so many mods uh deer boots sorry oh no deer skin pants as well um well technically if you're lucky you might you can definitely probably make the deer pants if you went up there might be part of the way to make the uh shoes as well there's a wolf over there we do need to watch out because a bear can be around here um, so in that sense, I should probably get out the distress pistol and actually reload it. Now up here, I believe, we should be able to find some saplings. The reason I kind of did this little shortcut in the first place. One, it's safer from wolves. But the other one is, I believe... Ooh, some birdies. Try and get that, come on. Nice. These are new to... I think it's the DLC you can get. Go. Okay. We can cook that up. And we get some feathers from it, which we can then use to improve our bedroll, if we want to. Uh, we can also use it to make a uh, thermal layer, which I believe goes in the t-shirt slot, but I'm not 100% because I've never crafted it. And I think it's kind of like a renewable way of but if you're doing long-term survival you can just use that instead of having an underlayer because up till now i don't think there was a way to craft an underlayer you can only craft the coats so i think that's the point of it anyway i'm not 100 percent though it might go in the accessory slot that's a bear pretty sure that was a bear Unless it was just the tower moaning. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm a bit concerned now. It might have just been the tower. The corpse down there. You can do a rope down there as well. Uh, I have literally seen the bear come into this place, though. So it does concern me a little bit. Uh, let's open this. This is the transmitter thing that I wanted to fix. And we can repair the metal parts straight away because we've got five metal parts on us. The rest of the items should be in the shed, or at least every time I've been up here, the rest of them are present. So we need to replace the battery, uh, the fuses, and the wiring. Oh, hurry up, because we do have a stinky bird on us. We need a battery and some wiring and fuses. And that should all be, hopefully, within this little hut. I'm going to quickly check around the back. 
Here we've got the fireplace. I'm quickly going to... Oh, we didn't bring the charcoal. Of course we didn't. Uh, okay, we might just take that charcoal. I don't know if um, the spray cans work to a certain extent when you map. Like this. But we can map quite a large area if we do this. Let's go inside. Gets warm. And I found quite a lot of good loot here before. Like military gear and all sorts. Um, a mariner's pea coat. Not the warmest coat out there, but close to it. Does a good job of blocking the wind, but gets very heavy when wet. I believe that is miles better than that, so let's repair that. Have another sip of tea before it gets cold. As a shame, it is pretty much cold. Um... Okay, and it's pretty much night already. Search these lockers. Might have to have a look in the morning for the rest of it. A flashlight. Ooh, and a firearm cleaning kit. The flashlight isn't useful. It won't work unless it's an Aurora. And nothing can open. That's nice. And a bunch of food, which matches, and some water. That's good, because I was worried about water. Uh, please be a coffee. Ah, shame. Um, so, yeah. Sorry, I was getting off track. Uh, the flashlight won't work unless it's an aurora, in which case it will suddenly spring to life and it will work. And the only real use for it, apart from as a light source, is to scare away predators when it's an aurora. Because normally, uh, predators are scared away by light sources. Another fire cleaner kit. I think I can use this. Yes, you can. That's amazing. And we've got rifle ammunition. Five rounds. Nice. Uh, normally, light sources scare away predators, especially wolves. Nice. Uh, but during Aurora, they get a bit maddened and they will ignore that. But a flashlight will scare them the same as um, if it was normal. So that's what that's there for. Okay. Another bandage. Okay, so we found a few fuses. I have. Ooh, that is a flare shell. Very nice. I haven't found the wiring yet. Insulated boots. Hey, their bulk will slow you down, though. Yeah, but the warmth difference is the same, and it's like a third of the condition. Uh, they are more waterproof, but yet yeah, minus 12. Um, They're good, but I don't think they're worth it. There's much better ones out there. Like, we, the uh, deerskin boots, I believe, are better. Let's force this open. Climbing socks. Ooh, another, another can open. <laughs> Don't find any, and then we find three. A book. Okay, that'll do. Right, we, I can barely see anything. I don't know about you guys. Uh, so, let's harvest this. Get some meat from it. Uh, takes two hours. Uh, okay. Something to do, I guess. Or well, 700 calories from it isn't bad. Eat the potatoes. We've got, we'll drink a bit of water. Uh, we'll drink our tea that we've got. Tasty tastiness. And we'll go to sleep. And we'll cook those in the little campfire we've got outside in the morning. But yeah, we found some really good stuff. I mean, that, look how warm that is and wind resistant that is. That should really go on the outside. It is really waterproof, but when it gets wet, it gets really heavy. It is already two kilos. Yeah, and I mean, our sprint, the red bar means the mobility of our equipment. So that's why we've got that issue. So that's an acceptable amount. I think any more than that, and it gets a little bit dangerous, especially if we're trying to outrun bears and things. But let's go to sleep now. Right, okay, we're fully rested. It sounds pretty windy out there. Uh, we could use the Storm Lantern in hindsight to look around, although I can easily see another this sewing kit, which is amazing. We still need to find that wiring, which I'm 90% sure will be here if we look hard enough. Ooh, an emergency stim. Well, this stuff will come in handy. It will. Amazing. Uh, ooh, a car battery is the other thing we needed. Uh, revolver ammunition, more of it, 10. Another Storm Lantern. Um, I think I'm going to keep that there. Wires are there. Oh, we can barely walk, but that's because of the car battery, because the car batteries weigh 15. Uh, they're pretty much in cumbia regardless of anything else. 
Um, scrap metal, no. I don't know how many wires we need. I thought it was three. I'm a little bit concerned we don't have enough. Oh, there it is. Okay. I think we've got enough now. Finish checking this out, and then uh, hopefully by the time we fix that up, catch up, Chris. Nice. It will be daytime. But it does sound a bit like the weather's a little bit rough. Oh, nearly didn't check this, and I got dog food. Moldy chocolate bar. <laughs> My favorite. Mm -mm. <laughs> right, let's get out of here. See what it's actually like. If it's a storm, if it's a blizzard. Oh, we're fine. It's dark. But thankfully... Um, oh, no, that was just because we were out of the wind. It is cold. It is very cold. And we can barely walk because of the car battery. Let's do the car battery first, then. Their battery. Again, I'm not sure how long this actually takes to do. I think it's all in real time. So I don't think we'll get hypothermic from this. Uh, fuses. Nice. Repair the wires. I believe this is the last step. And then... Turn it on. And during Aurora's, I believe, when we've set everything else up, I think there's a transmission tower at the airfield, which I've never been to, but supposedly uh, this allows us to find extra caches. Oh, it is an Aurora. So actually, we should see this come on. And the lights. Here we go. Boom. We don't have the thing that goes with this. You need like a radio receiver. But I think this allows you to find hidden areas and loot. So that's uh, find the torch that we've got. That should work. Despite the fact it's nearly morning. There's our torch. Come on. God, how many light sources do we have? There. Activate. Hey! Look at that. It won't work during the day. And even after the Aurora's finished, it still won't work. But nice to have. Let's start a fire. Once we start cooking this, I'll go try and get a nice look at the Aurora. We can use the cooking board to speed this up. I don't think it's needed. An hour and 13. 16 minutes. Yeah. Okay, let's try and get a good look at this then. Look at that pretty sky. Isn't that cool? Sure getting cold. That's awesome. I love this game. Oh, look, there's our home. <laughs> right there. So where we're probably going to go now is this way. We're going to follow the, well, hillside round the corner of the map. There is a couple of parks, a couple of caves. Hopefully we'll get some saplings on the way. And yeah, I'm hoping we'll be able to find some decent loot. How close are we to getting this? Right, okay, let's eat that because that'll warm us up a bit, I guess. Oh, and that's, I can't check, but that's cooking level two. That was that noise. Take the torch. Uh, we'll keep taking until we get a decent one. We've already got quite a few torches. That one's all right. Let's go inside before we uh, actually die of hypothermia. <laughs> oh, this is all crazy. Oh, uh, we might need to watch out for the wires. Because I know in the hydroelectric dam, you can get electrocuted from them. So probably that's better to stay in here. Go sleep. Hypothermia risk has been resolved. Good. We are a tad thirsty. Let's take this. Uh, we're a tad hungry as well. Um, I might need to save that for this evening because 70% condition is not very good. Uh, but let's eat the stale chocolate bar. We'll eat the moldy chocolate bar. And I think we'll be in good condition to leave now. There we go. Don't think we need that anymore. Let's harvest that. I think we've got another one anyway, don't we? It's pretty pants to have two. There we go. Uh, and do we need to repair anything? We could repair these socks. The wind sounds a little bit rough outside. It's still not fully daytime. There we go. And then we can replace our other socks. And that is a good 0.5 degrees difference. Boom. There we go. There are a few caves on the way that we can stop at. But I'm not sure if I really want to take the risk. Especially if there are bears around. Oh, no, it's clear. Okay, that's fine. Uh, it's wind. It's uh, it's cold. But 
It seems to be all the wind. So if we shelter from the wind, we should be all right. Crows overhead means that crows are out to play. It doesn't mean anything else. It literally just means that crows can fly. And crows always indicate a corpse if they're circling ahead. If they're just flying overhead, it's just an indicator that crows are flying today. Because <laughs> if it's too windy, they don't. Right. I can't see any saplings, unfortunately. I think some normally spawn over here, but it's only a chance and doesn't look like we're lucky today. Down the hill we go. Uh, we're going to veer off to the right a little bit. Is that a wolf up ahead or is that the corpse? There is a deer corpse nearby. I think that might be it. Potentially a wolf next to it. Hard to tell from this distance. But anyway, we're not going to go straight across. We're going to go to the right. Because there is a cave that we can explore down there before we go near that deer corpse. And hopefully doing it this way, we should avoid the wolf altogether. We could light a torch. Uh, we've got plenty of them. So we could light this. And that would help scare any wolves away that we come across. So I might end up doing that in a second. Uh, what is the wind like? Wind chill. Oh, it's barely windy at all. It's probably worth doing then. This is like a guaranteed light with the matches, and then we can use this multiple times with the fire. So it's a much better use of matches to light one of these to then light a fire. But yeah, there's a wolf over there. And what we can do is if we drop this and then aimed the distress pistol or anything at it, including rocks, it will scare wolves away. So definitely worth having some of these on you. And it also helps with your temperature as well. It helps give you a little boost, which is nice. Uh, crows are about, and I believe there's normally a body here next to the cave. Uh, we will harvest this, though. We can use birch to make arrow shafts. Very nice. That's next to this cave. What do you have on you? Nothing. Uh, are there any crow feathers? N no? Where are the crow feathers? Bizarre. Or the cave. What do you have for me? Firearm cleaning kit. Nobody needs this anymore. No, but I will when I actually have a firearm to clean. We got the revolver, I guess. Uh, and it was fairly low condition. So it could do with a good clean. And we're going to go up this way. And if we go up this way, we should be able to... There's a cave basically the other side. And we can just go into that cave, see what all the fuss is about. Uh, there's also a deer hide nearby, uh, which I'm going to leave, I think. Um, I'll leave it for now, anyway. I don't think we're any real need for it right now, but we might be later on. The rabbit over there. That's Hilltop Cave, here we go. We should probably mark this, seeing as I didn't... Yeah. Um, I'm hoping that torch is still going to be burning. It's not. Shame. <laughs> well, we got past the wolf anyway. Now was what the point of this is. Uh, and we've got a bed here that we could technically use. It's very nice. Let's have a soda. Empty. Great, okay. Um, let's stop and have a think then. Uh, let's harvest that. We get a stick back from it after it's been ruined. Get a little bit of our temperature back. Thank you. Um, we've got so many can openers. <laughs> and we probably don't need that wiring anymore, or the fuses, but I'll keep it anyway. I think we're all right. There's nothing really we can drop apart from the sticks, but I would like to keep the sticks. We're still wearing the jeans. Oh, let's, let's repair them. I forgot how low condition they were. Everything else is high condition still, isn't it? Yeah, cool. Right, yeah, there's a hum human corpse next to a deer corpse. There are wolves over there. Quite a few of them. The charcoal. Don't think it spotted me yet. I'm not going to interact with it because I would like to keep it there for later. Uh, we will collect the mushrooms, though. We can make some teas from them. I don't know if these give vitamin C from the teas. I'm assuming so. Uh, we could do with some rose hips. If we see any rose hips, I might grab them. Um, ooh, maple sapling. Uh, did that register when we did that? The Yeah, the mushrooms. Cool. Okay, I'll leave them here because there's quite a lot here. So we could come back up here if need be to actually get them specifically. Another revolver. 
damn, we're actually encumbered now. Barely, though. We'll have a drink and we'll be fine. Although we're just about to get the, uh... <laughs> the maple sapling, then we won't be. Yeah, okay. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do... Materials? Just to kind of show the reishi mushrooms are still here. I think that's fine. Then, we're going to go down here. Uh, we're going to reload this just in case we need to. Pop off some revolver shots. Don't think we are going to need to, but worst case scenario. That is the way if we want to go to Mystery Lake. Just we have to go up there into that cave. And that way we get to the hydroelectric dam. I was thinking, is it worth doing that now? Just because there is a guaranteed rifle spawn, I think I'm going to leave it for now. We can drop some stuff off back at the farmhouse, and then we can go out. It will be worth going there specifically to get that and loot the hydroelectric dam. But that in itself will weigh about four kilos. And then we've got everything else to loot as well. So I think we should probably just go when we've got minimal supplies. There's a cave here. I believe this is a bear cave. No bones, though. I believe it is a bear cave. Let's go across the bridge. We do have to worry a little bit about wolves. There are quite a lot of wolves in this picnic area. Um, we should be all right, but it's just something to think about. Uh, we will light this one, and then uh, we're going to keep it lit. <coughs> Which was the point, not letting it run out like last time. This also warms us up a bit, so it's win-win. I love this game so much. <laughs> it's so nice and atmospheric. I know it's like, people have their opinions on it. It's not ultra realistic. Some people think it's not too realistic. Some people think it's too realistic. It's not overly realistic. I've added realistic mods to this. Ooh, I think that's moose markings. Might have to watch out. Yeah, it's there. There's Moosey boy, next to the sapling I wanted. Okay, it's good to know the moose is here. Hmm, it's a bit of a problem because it's a lot closer than I was. I wanted to go to that fishing hut. Um, I think we should technically be all right to go there. Uh, a bedroll. Nice to know that the moose is here. And it looks like there is a corpse over there as well. The moose is right there and it's coming right towards me. It's got a very long aggression range. Luckily this has got a door. Shut that. What have we got in here then? Um... Not a huge amount. Fishing line and tackle. Uh, this is quite a good spot if you want to do stuff, because we can actually fish here. Uh, newsprint, no. And uh, there's a little fire. Everything's quite nice. Take the charcoal. Can we map in here? I feel like that's going to run out if we do that. So let's warm up. Uh, pot belly, start fire. Come on. Right, there we go. Perfect. Uh, add fuel. And what we can then do is add the reclaimed wood. Um, we can warm up for a minute. Uh, take a torch. Uh, extinguish that. Um, how long does it take to do this? Can't tell. I'm going to add this anyway. And how much water do we have? Oh, we've got enough. Fine. Well, let's just map here. Yeah, fishing hole. Cool. Okay. Uh, an hour. Yeah, let's extinguish that. One more. I'll do. Oh, I wanted that sapling. I have to leave it. Shame, just because there's a body over there. That's frustrating. Um, mooses are overly aggressive. We don't even want to attempt it. I think you can kill one with a revolver, but I think you'd be stupid to try. So we're not going to risk that. 
So there is another little picnic area down here. That's what my aim is to get to that area. There we go. There it is. Uh, once we are there, there's walls over there. Uh, <clears throat> we'll continue along the back road to hopefully find a cave. And there should be some saplings there and a few other bits. We'll grab them. And then I think we'll head back to our starter base where we first ended up uh, back in that little village. And then um, I think I'm probably going to end the episode. Going on a little long, I think, today. Well, a bit, probably about as long as last time. But you have no fear, little rabbit. Uh, I want the feather, please. Thank you. Now, the hunting knife. Worth it. Can't see anything else, though. No. As far as we haven't seen the wolves, there's normally wolves around here. But we'll go to the road, which is just here, and we'll continue along. It's so nice. <laughs> it's been a very relaxing stroll. I was expecting to see more wolves, to be honest. We didn't even see a bear. Yet, I should say. Yeah, never never shoot yourself in the foot by making it how easy everything has been. I did that on my last stream. I said, oh, every everything's fine. Got cocky. I said, let's go hunting after I got the bow. 45 minutes later, nearly died. We got attacked by two wolves, nearly died of hypothermia. Just made it back. <laughs> never say never. I, oh, no, that's the wrong phrase. Yeah, don't count your eggs before they hatch. I, 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 one of those phrases. <laughs> A phrase. Just, just insert phrase here. The wind looks like it's picking up. I'm worried the torch might not be viable soon. It gets too windy. Okay, we're going to cut across here anyway. Uh, we might get a sprain. What the red marking means just above where the torch is, is sprain risk. Because we're not on flat ground. I'll just get a bit further. A bit further, a bit further, a bit further. Got the torch. Uh, light source torch. Light it. Hallelujah, it worked. Good. And we'll leave that there. So we're going to continue along the back way. And we should come across, in a little bit, um, a nice cave. I'm not planning on settling down there and spending the night. Uh, especially if it, the wind's picking up this much. I'm worried it might uh, indicate a blizzard's coming. Do not want that. Uh, is it up here? I think the cave that I want is up here. It is possible... I believe the bunker can spawn there. I'm not quite sure how the bunker system works um, because someone said in my stream that they've been removed and then I read on the wiki that the bunkers are the things that can be found with the transmitters. But I don't know if they're extra bunkers or the bunkers that used to exist in the game. Not quite sure. It has been a while since I played properly. So yeah, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, oh, some more mushrooms here. I'll grab the mushrooms. There's a deer carcass. I might actually harvest that, or at the very least, the hide. But we'll go into the cave first. We do have a broken arrow as well, which is very nice. Again, no saplings though. I think saplings normally spawn up here. A bit sad we still haven't found any. All right, do we have anything in here? Cave. Um, was that something? No. Here we go. Right, we've got a simple arrow. Lovely. That was worth it. Scrap metal. No, I'm not going to take that. Uh, I am going to take that, though. Right, lovely. And... Um, do we have any actual stuff we can light a fire with? We've only got a couple of sticks. Um, oh, God. They just spawned in. That was weird. Just wondering if it's worth... Oh, it's only the tiniest amount of meat. Oh, it's worth probably harvesting it all. Let's harvest it all. Uh, I don't know how stinky we're going to be after this. If we've got a tiny bit of meat on us and that. We're only one. Okay. Get the crow feathers. Um, a little bit concerned about the wind picking up. Take those crow feathers. Okay. I'm going to risk being a bit stinky. 
so we can go back to our base. There are wolves nearby, but we are only one stinkiness. So hopefully we'll be all right. Uh, light source. No, 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 you fool. Not too late. No, we're fine. We're fine. Lovely. The plan is working. <laughs> uh, it would be nice to get some more rabbits, but we don't really have the weight capacity right now. But we do have a deer hide. And we can use that deer hide. Uh, we can leave it to cure. Probably at our old place. Uh, I'm not sure if it's worth taking it to the new place. Um, not yet, anyway. Not until it's cured. Uh, we'll leave it there to cure. I think it takes five days. And hopefully the rabbit's still viable. We'll harvest that. Uh, if we can. The meat might be rotten, but we might be able to get the hide and gut from it still. At that point, I think I'm going to call it a day. So I can see the power cable. That's the road. Just see it there. Uh, what's that over there? Is that a stop sign? I think that's a stop sign. Thankfully, we haven't seen a wolf. I don't know where they all are, <laughs> but we haven't seen one. And there we go. Look, there's a little house. Back where we started all that time ago. By all that time ago, I mean last episode. <laughs> and it looks like the wind is picking up a lot. So quite glad that we've got back when we did. We've got the pry bar now. But before anything else, let's go in here. We can try and unlock the, uh, what do you call it? The lockers that have been locked. What have you got for me? What spoils have you been hidden, hiding from me? I think I can use this. Uh, very good spoils. <laughs> very, very good spoils. Uh, cool, that was definitely worth coming back in for. Don't think there was any other lockers, were there? Uh, the cars, the car boots. Yeah, there are quite a few of the cars, I think, were locked, weren't they? Oh, a hat, man. seriously, a hatchet. Don't think I've ever found a hatchet. Not in, like, the houses here, anyway. Um, torch's gone out. Too windy. Uh, I don't even think that's worth it. We'll keep it for the stick, because we can harvest it again. Uh, rabbit is frozen. 55% condition. Um, I think we'll loot the cars next episode. Oh, God. Get inside, get inside. Oh! Wolf must have smelt us. <laughs> oh, that was... I couldn't... I wasn't sure if it was the wind or a wolf, and then it just... He appeared. Oh, that was scary. Right, anyway. Uh, you are... You still frozen? Yeah, look at that. M moldy meat. I think cooking it gets rid of some of that. Okay, we'll keep that on us for a second. Let's have a drink. I think we'll light a fire. It's a shame about the torch going out, because I was planning on lighting a fire for that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dump that, that. At least we've got the maple and the birch one as well, so that means that, well, once that's done, we can make a bow. I don't know if it's... I think it's one sapling for a bow. That's not bad. That's a few arrows and... I think a bow from the guts and that. It's not bad. Takes six days to do, and then we are gravy. How is our little friend doing? Are you still frozen? You're very frozen. Tell you what, let's just harvest the meat. For now, we can harvest the hide and guts in a second. The very moldy rabbit. <laughs> uh, I'm not quite sure if it's worth doing this because I think the meat is going to be very stinky. 54%? Okay, it's not as bad as I thought. Is that the same as... Oh, it's just the same condition. Fine. Well, it's not that bad. Okay, so. Start fire. Do we have any flour here? We could have done a rabbit pie. I think it's all at the other place, isn't it? Let's get some water cooking up. We're going to need to add some more fuel. There we go. Nice. Uh, right. Gamey venison. Some mouldy rabbit. And some more mouldy rabbit. Three minutes for that. Uh, apparently we still... Why do we still stink? Oh, because we didn't harvest that, of course. Uh, we need to add a little bit more, because that's not going to be the full... One, two, three, four. There we go, perfect. 30 minutes till burnt. Fresh rabbit. 100% condition. It looks mouldy still, but it, it's definitely not. 100% condition. 37 calories. It's definitely worth it. 
Ah, uh, 37 calories. Tasty. There we go. 27 minutes, 30 minutes, 50. Uh, can we do anything in those 30 minutes? Probably not. Can we harvest anything in the space of half an hour? Yeah, that. At least we get the hide. And we need a few of these. I think it's, is it three or four? And we can make some uh, lovely rabbit skin gloves. Wherever they are. Rabbit mittens or a rabbit hat. We need four for the mittens, three for the hat. Okay. It's not bad. Quarter of the way there. Uh, drop that down. Nice. And we have a nice fresh rabbit and some venison. And we're just about to have that as well, which is lovely. Uh, so we should then be able to harvest the gut. Ten minutes. That's fine. We can dump that on the floor, ready to cure, and then we can just uh, come back here when we uh, want them. So we have a wolf hide, a deer hide, and a rabbit hide ready, as well as a bunch of guts. So cannot complain. Getting there slowly but surely is the perfect opportunity to read another extract from our book. Boom. But up. Four minutes till that's done. Sounds like there's a storm outside. We're going to consume fresh rabbit. We're going to consume the venison. And I'm going to call it a day for now. I think we've done pretty well. Uh, we've got a ton of food, which is very nice. I'm going to need to sort out and store somewhere. We've got another revolver. We've got another hatchet, the flashlight, another oh, hunting knife. We've got some mushrooms that I can... Uh, preparing to tease, that'd be nice. And we have fixed the transmission tower. We've got more ammo. We've got a load of broken arrows that I need to harvest up, as well as an actual arrow. And a bunch of firearm cleaning kits, so we can actually get our guns spick and span. So, I don't think I did as much as I was planning to do this episode. I was hoping to do a little bit more. But, I don't think that's bad. We are on day six now, nearly day seven. And I think we've done all right. We've probably explored half of Pleasant Valley, if that. So I think we're doing all right. Next episode, I think what we're going to do, realistically, we should probably go north. If we go north we of Pleasant Valley, sorry, if we go north, we can get uh, the catch, which has the, hopefully has anyway, the bow and arrows. Uh, there should be some saplings up there as well. We can then veer to the right and we can hopefully go to the plane crash. And there's a few other buildings up there that we could check out. And we could always poke our, nof no our, nof our nose into Timber Wolf Mountain. Although I think I might save that for another time. I don't think our clothes are quite warm enough. Yeah, I think I would rather have 20 degree protection. Uh, we're nearly there. I think if we upgraded our jeans to something a little bit better, I would, I would be happy. We're very nearly there, basically. But I think if we had 20 degree protection, yeah, I, I would be satisfied that we could survive Tim Wolf Mountain okay. So, on that note, thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you like Wisim, please leave a like and subscribe. A massive thank you to all my Patreons. Drew, Clint, David, Len, Valise, Lorby Lord, T Chaos, Toolman, Nacho Cheese, Mikey Soundtrack, King of Thorns, Skylar Burshall, Charles, Mint Salad, Lats, and Brian. Cheers, guys. I can't thank you guys enough. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for supporting me on the channel. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.